Hello everyone, this is Teacher Mama Ninil and welcome to Teacher Mama Diaries. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Changing fractions to lowest terms. Changing fractions to lowest terms is also called simplifying fractions. Changing fractions to lowest terms or simplifying fractions means making fractions as simple as possible. We simplify fractions because it is always better to work or calculate fractions in the lowest terms. Like, why use two-fourths when we can use one-half? Both of the fractions are equal. Looking at these figures, we can really see that two-fourths and one-half are equal. Now, how will we know that a fraction is already in the lowest term? A fraction is in the lowest term if the GCF of the numerator and the denominator is 1. Like in this example, 5 eighths is already in the lowest term because the GCF of 5 and 8 is 1. This means that there is no other common number that can divide both 5 and 8 except 1. To simplify fractions directly to lowest terms, we use the GCF. Now, let us have this example. Change 8 twelfths to the lowest term. So, let us find the GCF of 8 and 12. So, what is the GCF of 8 and 12? The GCF of 8 and 12 is 4. So, let us divide 8 and 12 by 4. 8 divided by 4 equals 2 and 12 divided by 4 equals 3. So, the lowest term of 8 twelfths is 2 thirds. Alright, so another example, change 24 over 30 to the lowest term. So, still in this example, we will use the GCF to simplify directly the given fraction to its lowest term. So, what is the GCF of 24 and 30? The GCF of 24 and 30 is 6. So, let us divide both by 6. 24 divided by 6 equals 4. 30 divided by 6 equals 5. So, the lowest term of 24 over 30 is 4 fifths. And now, we can also simplify fractions using continuous division. For example, simplify 42 over 56 to the lowest term. In this example, we will use the continuous division in simplifying the given fraction to the lowest term. That means we will continuously divide the numerator and the denominator by a common factor until there is no other common factor that can divide both the numerator and the denominator other than 1 or until the GCF of the numerator and the denominator becomes 1. So, what common factor that can divide both 42 and 56? We can have 2. So, let's divide. 42 divided by 2 equals 21. 56 divided by 2 equals 28. Now, 21 and 28 still can be divided by a common factor, and that is 7. So, let's continue dividing. 21 divided by 7 equals 3. 28 divided by 7 equals 4. Now, 3 and 4 cannot be divided anymore by a common factor other than 1, meaning their GCF is already 1. So, that means the lowest term of 42 over 56 is 3 fourths. Now, let us have another example. Express 24 over 72 to the lowest term. In this example, still, we will simplify the given fraction using continuous division. Now, this time through the ladder method. So, what common prime factor can divide both 24 and 72? We can have 2. Now, let's divide. 24 divided by 2 equals 12. 72 divided by 2 equals 36. 12 and 36 still can be divided by 2. So, let's continue dividing. 12 divided by 2 equals 6. 36 divided by 2 equals 18. Now, 6 and 18 can still be divided by 2. So, let's divide continuously. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. 18 divided by 2 equals 9. 
Now, 3 and 9 still can be divided by a common prime factor, which is 3. Now, let's continue dividing. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. Now, the only common prime factor that can divide both 1 and 3 is only 1. That means, one-third is already in the lowest term. So, the lowest term of 24 over 72 is one-third. So, easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? So, if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Goodbye!